What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. This is the Elgu Mars Resin 3D Printer and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Elgu's latest product, which is a water washable resin. I'm very excited about this. That means no more needing any stinky isopropanol alcohol to clean off your resin prints with this product. Let's get some prints going, which actually I have one here already up and running, and let's check it out. All right, so again, this is the Elgu Mars. This is a resin 3D printer that uses liquid instead of the typical plastic material that you're used to seeing me use in a bunch of videos here. And this is Elgu's latest creation here, which is a water washable resin. So what this means is once I finish this print, I should be able to go and take it and rinse it off and clean it off directly in a vat of water, a bucket of water, whatever it may be. You're not gonna do this directly in the sink. There are still some precautions that you need to take with this resin, just like any other resins. Gloves, I have the window open. I'm in a well ventilated area here. Typically, you might wanna be wearing a mask with this as well. And when it comes to cleaning, you don't wanna be pouring this down the sink as well. So I wouldn't be using this directly in the sink that I'm doing any of the food work or prep or any of that other stuff that I'm doing in my typical housework here. I'll be using my standard pickle jar containers, or at least that's the plan, depending on how big this print turns out. And yeah, I'll be cleaning that off with just a little bit of water. So we'll see how this turns out. The settings that I'm using for the washable resin are listed here on screen. I found those over on the Elgumars Facebook group. If you're interested in this resin 3D printer, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out the Facebook group. I'll have a link down below. There are some extremely smart folks over on there, much more knowledgeable about resin 3D printing than I am, and I was able to leverage that group here to find these settings, so thank you guys. All right, so I screwed something up on my export of my file that I was loading in here. This was the base for this actual print, and what I ended up doing is, I think I just pulled the USB drive before it fully ended up saving, so when it went to print, it didn't fully print, and so I had a failed print. But what I wanted to actually do with you guys here is something I've been meaning to check out for the last month or so is Elgu now sells replacement vats, or spare vats, I should say here, that you can, let me take this off so it just doesn't, so it doesn't drip in. Uh, but here, normally what I would do is I would pour all of this resin out, I would clean out the vat, and then get another print going. But I'm still gonna end up doing that. But what I wanted to do is I've got this package here of plastic resin tanks. So these are basically additional, there are four additional resin vats here that I can use. And each one comes with a cover and inside is its own already pre-set up FEP film as well. So it's a really quick way for you to swap resins here if you're in between larger prints and you don't have a lot of time to get these going. Now I actually need to, here we go, here's the little tab and it should be good to go. Look at that, man, that is really cool. So now all I have to do is stick this guy in here like so and put these screws back in and I can continue printing. This is absolutely wild and I don't know why I haven't tried this out yet before. I'm gonna get this print fired back up and let's keep going while I clean up the original vat. And love that these come with covers as well. All right, so we're all finished with the prints and we're ready to get started on some of the actual testing of this water washable resin. Just as a reminder, you wanna make sure when working with this that you still need to be wearing gloves whenever you're interacting with it. It's still resin and could irritate, cause major issues with your skin. You don't wanna be drinking this, getting it in your eyes, anything like that. You also don't wanna be pouring it down any of your water spouts or faucets or anything like that. Uh, it's just because it's water washable doesn't mean I'm just gonna be going into my sink and washing it there. So just keep that in mind when working 
with this material. So in this example, what I'm gonna be running through is two different scenarios. I just wanna see how the results are gonna be. I figured this is probably the most frequent way you guys are working with your resin prints. One is using a container, or in this case, a pickle jar that I'm gonna be using that's filled with warm water, it's not hot water, it's not cold water, I just had regular tap water here that I filled up that I'm gonna be using to test this out. I also have my ultrasonic cleaner filled up with, again, warm water here, and we'll be running some tests just to see how that turns out as well. I'm assuming the ultrasonic cleaner is gonna do a little bit better of job of cleaning than this does. I mean, just in general, that's how it typically works. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping the results are really good regardless. And again, this is potentially a great alternative to anybody that's using isopropanol alcohol or IPA to help clean off your prints. The files that I went off and printed are these Gambit bust files from David Osman. These are so friggin' cool. These files are only available over on his Patreon. I'll have links down below where you can check that out. He does a, just an insane job with the detail of these characters that he creates for his statue files. This includes two different parts. There is the actual bust portion, and then there is the base that I'll be cleaning up and using as well throughout all of these tests, so we'll be able to see how these both turned out. Just also wanna mention that I did hollow out the bust here, so I am interested in seeing how well this cleans out the inside portions of the print as well. If it's gonna, here you can see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I have resin still dripping from the inside of this. So it'd be nice to see if it actually cleans out all of that as well. All right, first up, let's test this out. All right, now let's add these in here. All right, so my prints have finished curing in my UV bucket. I probably left it in there for about 20 minutes, 10 minutes each side, give or take. Wasn't really paying that close of attention. And they cured very, very nicely. They're nice and firm now. And yeah, I uh, was an idiot and forgot to remove the supports on this piece here before, uh, before curing this. So I'm just gonna snap these off here, which is always the best thing to do. FYI, I, I'm all in the camp of making sure to remove supports prior to actually curing anything. It's just a lot easier to get those off. But yeah, got this off, and I think the prints just look absolutely outstanding. I'm really not seeing that big of a difference between using the pickle jar and the ultrasonic cleaner with using water, which is, again, really crazy to me. So I did have some issues with my first print. I believe it was just due to some residual junk on the FEP screen on my VAT, and I wasn't getting that on the second print at all. Both of these just look really good. Really, really good. Very happy with the results here. Hey guys, so I'm actually gonna cut into this video. I'm editing it right now and wanted to let you know that I went off and printed one of Photos Mint's latest models. This is Pan from Pan's Labyrinth. This file is insanely cool. The detail on this is just ridiculous. This is probably Photos Mint's best file that he has created to date. Now, super excited to go off and print this in the water washable resin. And again, I think it turned out ridiculously good. This was printed again on the Elgu Mars as well. Just a few other quick things that I wanted to call out as well as I'm editing this and had a few extra thoughts in mind here. Uh, the price point, it's a few extra dollars more expensive than their regular resin. And I think it is well worth it just to not have to deal with IPA or any other cleaning product and just be able to rinse this off with water in either the pickle jar or in my ultrasonic cleaner. And I just wanna say thank you again to David Osman here as well as Photos Mint. Please make sure to support your local makers and designers. Go support them on Patreon. I have links down below to both these content creators. Make sure to give these guys some love. They also have a new podcast that they're gonna be putting out along with Wexter. So make sure to check that out once it's available.
available as well. I really wasn't getting a really strong pungent resin smell while working with this either, which is something great. Again, you still want to use safety precautions when using any sort of resin, some sort of a respirator if you're going to be heavily working around these things or with the machines nearby as they're running throughout the day. If you're handling these things, obviously you need to be wearing gloves. It, just because it's washable doesn't mean it's it's safe for you or the environment. So just keep that in mind. I have to just keep reiterating this because this is quote unquote controversial. If you're not clear on how to use water washable resin, you shouldn't be using resin. Let's put it that way. Th this is really a no-brainer here. It's not like this is kid-friendly. This stuff is still not good for you. So you don't want to be getting it on your skin, ingesting it, getting it in my eyes. You want to be taking the same precautions you would be normally with working with any other resins. The only added benefit of this is that I don't need some other cleaning agent to actually actually clean off the resin. I feel like that rant was a little long. <coughs> I feel like this is just a non-stop rant about cleaning your prints with water. Rant aside, this stuff is really cool and I'm really impressed with it. I believe the price point, I, I couldn't see it online on Amazon. I believe it's 25 for 500 grams and uh, 45 for uh, a thousand. Something like that. I'm also not 100% sure if they are offering other color variants of this resin. I just know that gray is the option that I've seen myself been printing with. There's a few other folks that have been posting on the Elgu Facebook group that have been using this. So it's really cool, again, to see this in action. And I'm very, again, very, very happy with the results here. I'll get some close-ups of both of the prints. And again, the big call-out that I had was there's no major difference between cleaning it here in the pickle jar versus the ultrasonic cleaner. I thought for sure I'd see some sort of residue left over on the pickle jar version, and there really wasn't. I also wanted to call it, they were including inside of the box this little paintbrush here, a little chip brush that you can use as you're actually cleaning off your prints to help get into the little crevices there when you're working with the water, which is a nice little touch there for you to be able to just get in and make sure that these are really cleaned off and looking as best as they can. I'm not sure if this came across in the video or not, but when I was taking this in and out of the ultrasonic cleaner, I could really see the residue of the resin on the inside coming out of the base holes that I put in this actual model until it was running clear. So that was very cool. And I was honestly a little surprised to see that that was working that effectively with just using water. One thing that I didn't go off and test is how does this actually react to IPA, and I'm sure I could do a follow-up with this, but for the most part, I was just really interested in seeing, is this really an effective way to clean your resin prints when working with this water washable version of resin? And yes, it seems to work really great. It seems to work really, really great. And again, I'm very happy with the results. I would definitely recommend this. This is a really great option for anybody out there that is, again, not interested in working with IPA to clean the resin prints, and also doesn't wanna mess around with any other cleaning products and just wants to stick strictly to using water. Again, I gotta say this, for like the 15th time, do not wash these in the sink. <laughs> wash them in some sort of a container, wash them in an ultrasonic cleaner with just water and it's gonna work out great for you. And again, it's pretty affordable resin alternative. So if you're interested in this, I'll have links down below, assuming that those are up and running over on Amazon or Elgu site or wherever, I might be able to find links to those. And if you're interested in the Elgu Mars, I highly recommend this resin printer, especially if you're looking to get started with resin 3D printing. I'll have links down below to this. I'll also have links to the spare vats that you can order off of Amazon. Also, they have extra LCD screens that you can easily replace in and out of these. And I think those are only like $20 a pop, which is pretty incredible. And if you're interested in printing this Gambit file, I'll have a link down below to David Oseman's Patreon page. I'm also a Patreon member of his and love, absolutely love all the models that he cranks out. Also, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this resin 3D printing controversy. Yeah, it also probably doesn't help that some of the manufacturers <laughs> have included video footage of it being washed underneath a stream of water, which looks like it's being cleaned off in a sink or isn't entirely clear that you shouldn't be doing that. 
And by the way, if you saw my thumbnail of this video, I was uh, pouring water over this already cured print directly into my ultrasonic cleaner. I was not pouring this into a sink. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.